So in this reading, we see lesser fortune, similar to major fortune or greater fortune. We have the two markings instead of being at the top, we see them at the bottom. We see the single markings here at the top, and that's a good visual indicator for you that you're dealing with something, you know, where you're, you're dealing with the lesser fortune. You think about fortune being these two things. It's lower than or lesser than than it is on the top. And lesser fortune is still a positive throw of the druid sticks, but we're, we're going we're gonna to interpret it a little bit differently. Lesser fortune really is kind of the absence of being unlucky or the absence of bad luck. It's not necessarily good luck, but it's not bad luck either. Though we're going to see some prosperity and some positive outcomes, but it's not going to be as great as it could be. It also indicates that, you know, we're going to have a good outcome or we're going to have a positive outcome, but there's still going to have to be a little bit of harder work to get to that point. So using the uh, reading example from Greater Fortune, will I get this job after the interview that I just had? The answer is going to be, yeah, but you're going to need to answer some additional questions or you're going to need to do a little bit more follow-up in order for you to have that positive outcome. And even then, it might not be the, the windfall or the outcome that you're hoping for, but it's still going to be better than maybe what you have. In a relationship reading, it might be that, yeah, you're going through some hard times. There's going to be some success for you in this relationship, but you do need to do the work in order for you to have some prosperity. It gives it kind of couches that fortune in a little bit of hard work.